Toyota Field is finally open! Ah, so happy. I tell you what, those Rocket City trash pandas did not disappoint. Hi, I'm Shelby Strickland with Shelby Strickland Team, Remax Alliance. Thinking about going to a game but aren't sure what to expect? I'm here to share with you my experience and a few tips and tricks. Later in this video, I'll share with you an embarrassing moment I had with myself. Not a person to go to something like right when it opens. I feel like Huntsville is crazy about going to their openings and those sorts of things and they get in there and overwhelm the staff and there's too many people and their staff isn't quite ready and everybody's just so super excited and then they're so super annoyed when things don't go perfectly. Um, however, I got an awesome invite from a really dear friend, uh, Kevin Fernandez with the Fernandez Financial Group to go to the game on Saturday night and so I thought, okay, that'll be fun. Um, so we wanted to try that out and uh, we did have a great time and thank you Kevin for that. I had been hearing several complaints and concerns over other people's um, experience at the game earlier in the week, long lines, waiting too long for food uh, from opening night. And uh, so I went into it with the expectation, don't go hungry, make sure you go early um and just be along for the ride and have a great time and we definitely did uh, we got there about an hour a little over an hour early and got right into the parking lot no big deal um the parking looked a little bit interesting some of some of the parking had lines some didn't we kind of made our own spot but it wasn't anything stressful uh and then we got up towards the door and the line just went on and on and i was like oh my gosh I have to pee. <laughs> so I was a little concerned about how long we might be in the line, but it was fine. Um, and we got through the like check-in and everything in about 30 minutes. And you know, I had great company, so frankly it was perfectly pleasant to stand out there. The weather was beautiful. Uh, we got up to the gate. They uh, checked my ticket. I had my ticket on my phone. Um, I had to turn up my brightness so that the scanner could read it. So that's a tip that I would pay attention to um, if you don't have a paper ticket, if you're using your phone for that. And uh, then we got in and we started kind of hunting down some different things. Uh, I have a gluten intolerance and so, and I like to drink. So I was looking for a gluten-free beverage and uh, other than soda and water, um, that was something that was a little bit unique to find. You actually have to go all the way down to the, in the outfield, behind the outfield. Um, that place is called the Rock Porch. The Rock Porch, that's the name of it. <laughs> uh, there was about 10 people in line when we got, got up to it. We were in, through the line about 10, 15 minutes. It really wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, you're there to have a good time and hang out. So if you're hanging out in a line for a few minutes or you're hanging out in your seat, I'd personally don't see the difference, but I'm not a diehard baseball person, so I don't feel like I have to see every second of the game. So that might be something you feel differently about if you don't want to miss, you know, a, a pitch or whatever. Um, anyway, so uh, so liquor is at the Rock Porch. Uh, plenty of beer and other findings, um, many, many other places, lots of, you know, places to get food and drinks and that sort of thing. Um, pretty good variety of uh, things to get, which I thought was nice as far as food goes. Um, so anyway, so we watched the game, we had a great time, um, went back to the rock porch uh, another time in the middle of the game. Um, they were equally pleasant the second time, uh, took great care of us. Lots of uh, home runs and just all sorts of things. Uh, we really enjoyed watching the kid games, there's a ton of stuff for kids to do. We, we didn't have kids with us, so we, but it was just fun to watch. Um, ridiculously entertaining frankly to people watch there and I just loved I loved all the games it kind of reminded me of the um, hockey games that we've been to you know Huntsville Havoc because they played a lot of the same games they did the bongos and um, I didn't have a kiss cam that might have been fun but <laughs> or I missed it I might not have been paying attention but uh, so just really cool watched fireworks which were pretty fun and uh, we got in the car and went home. I was worried it would take us forever to get out of the parking lot. You know, it was just like, well, this is going to take forever. Nope, we got right out. Um, we probably got out of the parking lot in 10 minutes. I mean, really no much more than the distance it took to get from our, get our car out. It wasn't bad at all. I have a friend uh, who's been uh, working as a game day employee, uh, Becky Haskins, and uh, she's got a few tips for us. I thought I would share as well. She said, get there early. 
um, which we did, so I'm glad we did that. Um, she said, have your tickets ready and out. You know, the more people can do that and be prepared, the faster it's going to go. Um, there's a entrance that people don't seem to have uh, figured out yet, and it's on the behind the outfield. So there was less, it seems like that's a better way to get in, less of a line. That's not where we were. I wish I had known I would have gone in that way. Um, she says there's a VIP entrance for season ticket holders and private suites. Clear bags only, no weapons, including pocket knives. Uh, it's a cashless stadium, so you don't bring cash. That's totally pointless. Ironically, they do have an ATM, which I thought was funny because what's the point of that? But anyway, it's really a beautiful place. The fireworks are every Friday and Saturday night, all season long, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, on Sunday, kids get to run the bases after, and I heard there was over like a thousand kids on Sunday, which I just think is awesome. Um, let's see. So another thing Becky shared with me is that they are, you know, we, we talked about, you know, their, their first week guys <laughs> like they did their best, you know, and, uh, they're short staff like everyone else and are looking for people. Becky mentioned, um, you know, if you're looking for a way to get your kids, older kids off the couch or out of the house, uh, or anyone. I mean, I think it'd be a really fun uh, job for just about anybody. They're looking for, for more help anyway at the, at the field uh, for game days specifically, of course. Um, and uh, she said, you know, if you give her name as a referral, she gets a bonus. So shout out for Becky Haskins if you decide to hunt down a job for game day at uh, Toyota Field. It frankly sounds like fun depending on what you get to do. So uh, maybe I'll sign up. <laughs> did want to share a funny moment with you guys. My awesome friend Brandon Taylor with Capstone Realty uh, had done a quick um, little video like this on his Facebook, uh, I think after the first game last week. Yeah, it was after the first game. And the, the singer was singing and he had a little video of it. And I was like, and it was God Bless the USA. And I was like, God, that guy sounds terrible. Who, where did they find this joker? Like, couldn't they have got somebody better for opening night? <laughs> No, it was actually Lee Greenwood. So bless his heart. I don't know what's going on with that. And hopefully he doesn't have some tragic story that damaged his vocal cords. That I don't know about, but he was sounding rough. That's all I got to say. I was like, what is happening? So anyway, that was funny. So they did try. They got a great, they got somebody, you know, good and well-known, but he just was not on his game. <laughs> Maybe it's been a while since he'd been singing. I don't know. Um, but I did get a kick out of that. So, but all in all, great experience. I think it's going to be fun. Um, I tell y'all, even get choked up thinking about it when they did just looking out across everyone, um, see, of course there's no mask ordinance there now. So seeing people's faces and smiles and they did a wave <laughs> and it was just awesome to see humans coming together to make a wave and that is the silliest thing if you would if I would have said that a few years ago but just just to watch it and just roll all the way across it was almost took my breath away <laughs> and I'm about to cry right now it's so silly but it was just beautiful um and uh just really nice to see things starting to to happen um in the world again so um as far as being together and it was just a really good experience so i hope you will take some time and go check out the rocket city trash pandas at the toyota stadium pretty much for watching as always if we can do anything to help you please just reach out we're always here to help bye